Okay, so what we've got here is we've got our polyamide tubing, we've got two of our wing posts. Um, I'm going to take the polyamide tubing and I'm going to snip off a piece that's um, maybe 3 sixteenths of an inch long. And then I'm going to snip off a second one, same length. Maybe. There we go. So I've got that. Set your tubing back in a safe place. This is an expensive little commodity. Now, this tubing, if I can get a piece, is a kind of a loose fit on these wing posts. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some balsa residue on the wing posts to tighten up the fit. So what I'm going to do is I've smeared a little bit of glue on the end of that and now I'm just going to press a piece of my scrap um, balsa for my wingtip building onto that. Um, I'm going to cut this off flush and dunk it in accelerator so that the glue is completely hardened. Now I'm going to scrape most of that back off of there. I pinch it at the end so it's particularly thin there. Okay, so now that we've got that little bit of that little scab of balsa on there, like that, I can take my piece of tubing, I can slide it on. And it's not it's still kind of loose. We're going to harden that balsa up with uh, CA. Um, but that's what we're, where we want to be for now. I'm actually going to take just a little scrap that I scraped off a minute ago. I'm going to use it for my other wing post. And yes, I've just got glue all over me. And we will dunk that in accelerator. All I've got is just that tiny little bit on there of wood. Um, grab my tissue tube, tissue tube, polyamide tube. I'll slide that on there as well. Now, here's where it's a little challenging. What you want to do is at your at your wing rib here, the center wing rib, I'm going to put a dab of glue. Just like that. I'm going to make sure that I have some accelerator on my uh, tissue tube over here. Because what I'm going to do is and check your alignment, make sure this is on, going on reasonably straight, and we're going to set this in place. Except I did not get the accelerator on it, and I think I got glue up inside there. Uh, maybe not. I did glue it firmly to myself. Take two. So, I will make sure I have accelerator on here this time. Unglue my wing from the table. Which miraculously has caused my wife only to laugh at me rather than yelling at me. She's done it too. And there we go. So now I can slide that in and out as you would uh, as you would want to be able to. So now we're going to repeat that for the trailing edge. Stay put wing. Nope, not going to stay put. So dunk wing post in here. Put CA glue right here. And 
on it goes. Your goal is for those to be approximately parallel. You can see that they more or less are. Now, I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to add some more CA onto its scab because it fits loose. So that should build it up a little bit, rough it up, all that, dunk it in accelerator, and now it's good. And now we've got a nice tight fit. Now I'm going to take my motor stick and on the left side of my motor stick is where I'm going to glue the front. Um, and there are varying distances you can put this back here. Um, my prop I measured it's 800 milligrams so it's kind of heavy so I'm going to put my wing only an inch back from the uh, front of the motor stick. And I'm just gluing it on like that, straight up and down. Come back here and we'll do the same thing, like that. And there we are. Now, very important at this point is for you to look at your wing twist. And if you look real closely, you will see we are washed in at this tip. That's not good. We want it to go the other way. So up front, I'm going to kind of crack my wing loose a little bit so that I can reverse that. You see that? This is hard to spot. This is parallel to the camera, and you see the underside over here. So now all I have to do is zap that with a little bit of glue, and our adjustment will stay. And so we've got our wing attached. Now all we have to do is repeat this back at the tail end. Okay, so now we're going to put tissue tubes, tissue tube, well, we're going to put tubes on the stab. Uh, so we're going to start by taking our tiny little 028 carbon tubes, and on one end we're going to just do the same thing we did last time, is we're going to scab some um, uh, balsa on the end of them. Snip that off flush, and again we're going to cut off um, most of it. You can also use sandpaper on this or something like that. Bottom line is I'm just trying to remove most of it, but not all of it, because what I want, if I can get a grip on my polyamide tubing, is I want it to be a tight semi-tight fit on there. And I got this one right the first time. Alright, so once again, we'll do the same thing on the other one. At this point, I'm just kind of scraping it with the blade parallel or perpendicular to the surface. Just trying to get things close. And once again, get a nice fit. Again, snap off uh, two pieces that are about 3 16th inch long of your uh, polyamide tubing. Put the rest back in the baggie. And now 
go ahead and fit the tubes onto each of these. So as you can see, there's the tube on it. And this one's been, there we go. On it goes. So there again, just a review. Okay, so we're going to somehow hit this with a little bit of accelerator. So we're going to dab some on there, which is terribly unhealthy for a human being to do, but that's what we're going to do with both of them. Um, now these, unlike the uh, wing post that went down, these are going to go up. So I'm putting a dab of glue on here. Just sticking this guy on here like so, and hoping that eventually the glue will take. It's not looking promising. There we go, maybe. So, like that. I know that's kind of, there you go. You can kind of see the, that it's straight up and down. hit that with some more glue in a minute. Um, we'll go ahead and dab some glue on the back. I will just extricate myself from it. Put some accelerator on there. And now I can just drop this guy on here like that. So as you can see they're roughly parallel. Okay, we'll go ahead and cap the uh, accelerator. And these are going to glue on the left side here. So you can just glue one and then the other. I'm going to have them flush with the top of the tailbone. So we'll start with, maybe we'll start with the trailing edge if it doesn't fly away from me. I'm going to hit glue on here. Same thing up front. Again, be careful not to get glue down there towards your uh, tube. You want your um, stab to be removable. And there we go. So now we'll check and see that stab is more or less level. We'll probably tilt it um, eventually so it's kind of like this. The left side's higher, help you turn a little more, um, but we may not need that. Anyway, let's go ahead and assemble this. Um, now this one is a uh, an early prototype, so don't be alarmed at the weight you're about to see. The money you're paying will give you an airplane capable of building down to weight. We just overbuilt this one um, quite a bit. I used B grade wood for the, the motor stick. and the tail boom. So, anyway. Three point six grams. That's not bad. Easy to shave off that weight. And that's that. So we'll go ahead and we'll give this a quick look over in a minute. 